first of all, I think the book caught the eye of a lot of Asian and Asian Americans. Amy Tan's really beautifully written book, which which hits a bestseller list. You know, I read the book and I was I was so inspired by how she told the story of you know the generational differences between mothers and daughters so well in such an articulate way. And so when I heard about the project, uh, when I heard that they were casting, um, I worked hard to get seen, to, to read, to read for the, either the mother, the early mother's role or the daughter's role, but um, it didn't happen. It didn't work out uh, for me, but I was glad that I was able to be a part of it uh, and play the second wife, um, which is actually a very familiar uh, role for a lot of Asian women in the earlier in the earlier times, in the in the 1800s, 1900s, um, in China, where men can have many wives, and what do the wives do? If you are not number one wife, number two, number three, number four, number five, you have to be able to produce a male child, and second wife is gone. She can't. So hence her story. Again, it was one of those surprise uh, that I got, a happy surprise that I got called and I said, would you like to play Sakamoto's wife? And Sakamoto was played by Maka, the late Maka. And I said, yes. You know, even though it's a cameo role, it's the opening sequence which set up the young boy's journey that the two daughters of Sakamoto have to be sold because the family is so destitute and my character was so sick. The family, the father is just at his wit's end what to do with the girls. So that's, that little cameo sequence set up the whole story for me. Oh, it's amazing to be on that show, and I was so blessed to have a scene with Larry David. And I'm told that by almost every movie that I watch of yours, it is one of your most difficult movies. It is. Would you agree? Yes, I, mine was. And, and it's scary. I mean, he's yeah. so experienced, so seasoned. He's created the show. He's, you know, he's written for Seinfeld. So you're saying, my goodness, I'm up you know, with a master here, and then he just calmed down, he's like, I got the role, there must be something I'm doing right, and then he just played, and that was wonderful, great experience. Well, I was recommended to Aaron and Aaron's producer, Elizabeth, uh, by mutual friends, and then uh, I got an email and with a script attached, and they asked if uh, I would consider playing the role. And I read it, and I felt that it was a wonderful concept. And I wanted to meet with Aaron and have a little chat and see if we could go on this journey together. And uh, I asked her, why did you pick this topic? And she told me that it's because she did some research and she found out that a lot of the uh, elderly people in the Asian community, in the Asian American community, they are suffering from a lot of depression. And then also, um, there has been news uh, about like Asian, old, elderly Asian Pacific um, people being abandoned at motels by children um, who did not, you know, who, who maybe the parents had extended their stay and they didn't know what is the best way to handle this. So they, they just kind of um, placed their parents who can speak English too well at the motel and just kind of left them there. And then she also did some research about um, coffin school in Korea, which is sort of like a very uh, new type of therapy for people who might have uh, lost their their will or their the inspiration to life to, to do this sort of physical, uh, to, to go through this therapy, go into a coffin and then, not really like being locked in a coffin, but go into a coffin and in this quiet space, just kind of have, have a moment to reflect if they could remember a good time in their life to recharge. So I felt like it was a very unusual concept, and especially for the Asian Pacific, you know, elderly community, I, I wanted to have that. I felt that it was a very meaningful subject uh, to, be, to be shot and filmed and shared with audiences. It is a romantic comedy, a coming-of-age story um, about this young Chinese man who's so in love with his girlfriend, uh, but, you know, they were separated because the girlfriend came to America for grad school and he was in China and then the communication sort of broke down. So he came all the way from from China. Um, he uh, applied for grad school in America wanting to woo her 
pull his uh, girlfriend back by creating this Chinese New Year talent show. And I will leave the ending kind of uh, uh, not uh, blank right now, so that if you were to talk to Eric, you'll get the best part of it. So will he succeed in winning her back, or or does he find something else? 